So, hey guys, Chauza here. So yeah, we're going to go back in time a bit. This is from around two years ago. As you saw in the background before, it was during one of the Stampede celebrations. So yeah, we got a new movie ahead of us. And yeah, this is one of those teams I think about quite a lot. And mostly because when I made this team, it was a great personal achievement because this was something really cool that nobody else had done. And you have to remember that back in these days with Garb Challenges, they've just started to get the monthly reoccurring Garb Challenges. We didn't have many at all yet. I think it was just Duffy, Duffy and Rebel, basically. And the thing is that we didn't just have color challenges, but we had claws as well. So there was a lot of challenges to do. So people were crazy trying to combine challenges. And I did a few of those teams and by, of them, this is easily the one I remember the most fondly because this was so outrageous and like, you have to remember I'm a better player now as well at the game. Like there's yes, no more, I don't struggle as much with technical skills like hitting good, great, perfect, whatever I want, stuff like that. So I don't know if this would have been as hard for me today with what I had then. But as you see, my account wasn't as well developed then. Like the team is not even fully limit broken. I haven't got the limit expanded uh, Duffy like I have now, for example. Sora di didn't have his super evolution yet. He wasn't that special yet. And we've had some new good uh, in Slasher Driven's released because this is a mono in Slasher Driven team. And yeah, the rough thing here is just you need all the tools basically and since we don't have a lot of capped multipliers we need a lot of buffs to do the damage but then we need to start back the damage and that stalling was like the main issue so we got some help first we have the ship this is a chip you don't see a lot nowadays it's the law ship uh, it's a slash of free spirit chip and uh, the good thing with it is that when you get very low hp you get a free, pretty high heal. I think it's like 10k HP. I can't remember since I have not used it in forever. So basically I'm going to stall here quite a while to get CD back. And it's quite frustrating since you get that 4 turn blow away constantly. And Eva does quite a bit of damage as well. So yeah, I haven't actually watched this since way back then. I think with... Like, the reason I'm hitting with everybody, of course, is to try and fish for recover orbs as well. Just hit as much as possible. And as you see, we do have some pin shielders as well. I remember this taking so long to get right. And this was like more like a uh, do it once and show it's possible kind of thing rather than anything serious to use for farming. But yeah, there's some fun characters here you never see, like the Whitey Bay. Like, why the Bay was, like, legit the only way you had to remove uh, Bind. So I had just had to put her on. And then you have stuff like the 50% HP cutter Amande. We are saving her for final stage because otherwise, without that 50% HP cut, we're not doing enough damage. And the Shiri is pretty nice, too. He has quite... He has... Uh, damage reduction <laughs> really that's all he does but he helps us survive so that's pretty nice because if you don't survive like you don't finish the run and yeah we're very low HP but as you see the ship is about to get ready and we'll easily kill this turn as well I presume at least like seeing that Bello Belly not getting killed by a hit from an int unit with attack boost, that's just insane to see. White, White Bay has quite atrocious stats, to be honest, they are so low. But yeah, can use her here to remove the bind, sadly we still have block orbs. Have to remove them manually. Yeah, Amanda has a special place in my heart actually, she helped me cheese a lot of stuff early on when I was a beginner. And yeah, she's still pretty special with that HP cut, it's so crazy. 
And yeah, we're doing some damage reduction strats now. We just need to survive this turn. And yeah, I think it's pretty tight even with the HP we have here. These guys do quite a bit of damage early. Yeah, stalling against both these guys is pretty crazy to be honest. It's not often I've done that. And Karras is so annoying as well. Luckily Sora resisted and we have Special Bind Reducing Sailor. I think it's the Shiryu. I'm honestly not sure, I presume so. And yeah, looks like we're bursting now. No reason to use the special otherwise. And yeah, we got all the specials we needed for final stage. One thing I remember was super annoying with this team was Orb RNG. Because obviously these captains don't help you anything. So, like the nice thing is that the combo of Duffy and Sora does give some inherently matching orbs. But there's still many that aren't matching, so that's quite annoying. But yeah, we will get mix one matching at least. And we got a lot of healing because remember the burn. We have low HP, we have burn, we need to hit perfect. So yeah, need all the HP we can. But yeah, I can see why this is the run. This is a pretty good situation, like 50% HP cut. We got the attack boost, we got the ore boost. Matching orb on, orbs on the heavy hitters. Build up a bit of shame before we start hitting perfect. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> like, I know it works, so. But it's still nice to see, like, this team. As I said, close to my heart, I enjoyed making this a lot, and it felt so good. Like, it's hard to imagine nowadays, like, beating Rebel 1, making you ecstatic. But, yeah, it was a different time back then, and this was a very big meme team. But, of course, we're also going to do it better. So here's Mono Slasher in Driven with Modern Units. First, I wanted to do the same hybrid captain combo, but I was like, let's just make it as good as possible. So I just went with Double Sorrow. I uh, should have waited to try and get the Living Freak Expanded Friend as well, but when I did a test run, it was clean enough, so I was like, yeah, maybe Living Freak Expanded Sorrow can save me a turn, but yeah, let's just get it done. It looks good enough for me. And yes, you see, we got a lot of new units to play with here. Three units here did not exist back then. And of those that existed, uh, the 6 plus V2 sword did not exist. And the 6 plus is quite a big buff. Like, I know that many probably think it's one of the worst 6 plus we got, but it's more, mostly the fact that it didn't inherently make Sora more viable rather than being a bad upgrade, because it's a good upgrade, it's just didn't increase his viability that much. Even if I still feel like I used him quite a bit, he's pretty useful overall. And Slasher is a much better class today than it was when this 6 plus sword was released. But it is overall going to be pretty smooth here. I didn't get the best orb RNG this run. Like I made a test run before this where I got like very good RNG, but because you need to remember that with the 6 plus V2 Sorrow you want Dex and Int Orbs for the maximum captain ability. And the captain ability also boosts the rate of getting them. So I was honestly not sure if I was going to kill this turn. But luckily I was, otherwise that would have been a reset, sadly. Because we really want an attack boost here for the Morley. And yeah, finally, Dofia's sub was not the most tough mode because once, you, once he gets a quick orb, he just keeps it with his sailor. And he's one of the man, main damage dealers in CS, so have much high stats, which is limit pre expansion. So it's unfortunate, and it ended up meaning we couldn't kill both in one turn, but doesn't matter. We have a lot of HPV and have Chivu's damage reduction. And yeah, Shiro is mainly here just for having higher stats and having a support that removes buy-in. And he could do the HP cut there as well, so it was a nice bonus. But as you see, this run is much smoother. We're already at this stage. And we also have just more options of removing buy-in. 
Like here we're going to be using Duffy for example, and he has the Caesar support to remove by. Other op options could have been like Nami support on the Brook for example, and I could have kept the Koshiro support on Sorrow to remove the death up. I was considering that, but this worked out nice enough, and we do have one unit left for final stage to give us an ore boost as well. So yeah, pretty cool to see how the game has evolved though, like, it doesn't feel like it's, it's this team looks that much more impressive, but it really makes a big difference, and the biggest difference I guess is the high better captain ability, and I should also mention the ship because Oriaxon is just amazing overall. And yeah, very easy kills. But yeah, that's a two year time skip to see how things change. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.